Mars is a dusty, cold, desert world with a very thin atmosphere. This dynamic planet has seasons, polar ice caps, extinct volcanoes, canyons, and weather. Mars is one of the most explored bodies in our solar system, and NASA missions have found lots of evidence that Mars was much wetter and warmer, with a thicker atmosphere, billions of years ago. Scientists don't expect to find living things currently thriving on Mars. Instead, they're looking for signs of life that existed long ago, when Mars was warmer and covered with water. The enigmatic red planet has captivated the imagination of humanity for centuries, and numerous spacecraft were sent to explore its surface and atmosphere. But among these missions, one stands out not for its success, but for its tragic failure, the story of the lost Mars Climate Orbiter. The Mars Climate Orbiter was a space probe designed to be a smaller, less expensive way to explore Mars in the wake of the 1993 loss of the Mars Observer and was launched on December 11, 1998, by the NASA in Florida. It was a cutting-edge spacecraft designed to study the Martian climate, atmosphere, and surface. Its mission was to orbit Mars and provide crucial data that would advance our understanding of the red planet. For months, the orbiter journeyed through the depths of space, overcoming countless challenges on its way to Mars. But on September 23, 1999, as it approached the planet for orbital insertion, disaster struck. Mars Climate Orbiter went out of radio contact when the spacecraft passed behind Mars earlier than expected and communication was never re-established. Due to complications arising from human error, the spacecraft encountered Mars at a lower than anticipated altitude and it was either destroyed in the atmosphere or re-entered heliocentric space after leaving Mars' atmosphere. The mission was lost and NASA was left reeling from the catastrophic failure. But what went wrong? How could such a technologically advanced spacecraft meet such a tragic end? The answer lay in a seemingly mundane detail, unit conversion. Lockheed Martin, the primary contractor for the Mars Climate Orbiter, used English units pound for seconds for its thruster data. Meanwhile, NASA's software used the metric system Newton seconds. This discrepancy led to incorrect calculations of the spacecraft's trajectory during the crucial orbital insertion maneuver. As a result, the orbiter's thrusters fired with much less force than intended, causing it to miss its orbit around Mars entirely. The mission was lost, and NASA faced not only the financial cost of the failure but also the disappointment of an entire scientific community eagerly awaiting the data the orbiter would provide. According to NASA, the cost of the mission was $327.6 million total for the orbiter and lander, comprising $193.1 million for spacecraft development, $91.7 million for launching it, and $42.8 million for mission operations. The Mars Climate Orbiter failure was a wake-up call for the aerospace industry. It showed us the critical importance of communication, coordination, and double-checking in complex engineering projects. It also highlighted the significance of adhering to standardized measurement systems to prevent such costly errors in the future. Unit conversion may seem like a small detail, but in the vastness of space, even the smallest mistakes can have devastating consequences. Despite its tragic end, the Mars Climate Orbiter remains a symbol of humanity's relentless spirit of exploration. Its legacy serves as a reminder of the risks and challenges inherent in space exploration and the importance of learning from our mistakes to push the boundaries of knowledge ever further. So, that wraps up today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and ring the notification bell for more intriguing content. Until next time, fellow explorers.